G'day, Josh here on the EA Test Server again to bring you some flashbacks uh, content. If we jump into sets, we do have a early preview of who the next flashback player will be. It will be Andre Iguodala back from 2008 when he was playing for the Philadelphia 76ers. Here's a look at his stats. 86 defense is crazy. 89 on-ball defense, 85 block, 89 steal. Also has rebounding in the 80s, 80 scoring with contact, 82 inside paint shot, 82 agility, 81 mid-range shot, and 81 speed. And pretty much all of his other stats are in the high 70s. So this guy is an absolute beast, and it looks like he's going to be auctionable as well, which is key, because if we actually move across to J.R. Smith, J.R. Smith was not auctionable. So I actually have enough tokens to claim one of these guys, and I'll be saving it for Iggy, because he looks unreal, and because he's auctionable. So when I move on from him, I can actually sell him for some coins. Uh, so I will get some gameplay of him when I have him for you as well. Let's move into the daily beats and play the Blitz event. We are, uh, the days have been advanced in this test server, which is why we're able to jump in and play uh, the flashback content, despite it not currently being Friday when I'm recording this. I do have more Harvest promo content to put out, so I won't be dropping this video. Uh, or by the time you see this, it will be I guess just before flashbacks actually drop, uh, but this gives you a good indication of, or gives you an idea of the stats and things like that before we actually see them live in game or see Iggy live in game. I will get to the store and rip through, through some packs as well. Can we hit a three with Iggy in the bottom corner? Oh, it just rims out. Oh, that was, that was a perfect release. What was it, a 67% finish? Uh, so he's definitely capable of hitting him. He just missed that one. Frustrating to miss two in a row, though. Uh, that went in. It looked like it rattled out. I wasn't paying enough attention, I will admit. All right, let's try Murray. Let's try Murray in the bottom corner. We need to hit two threes to win this event. Murray, another open three. Perfect release. There we go. We get that one to go. We'll try and look for Iggy with the final shot. Hopefully, we can get him to drop one. Oh, we get the board. Okay. There's number nine. There's Andre. Bottom corner. 20% wide open. We clutch that event out with Iggy to earn ourselves some flashback tokens, including, of course, the first win pack, which will have three additional tokens. I'm going to then jump into the... Actually, let's have a look at the set, sets first. See how many more tokens we need. So let's go into sets. Uh, do we have any... We don't have any in the JR Smith sets. So that's fine. So we'll pop all these in here. So we still need another 100 tokens. Let's jump into the store and rip through some flashback packs, starting with the Boom or Bust pack. We're either going to get a gold player, I believe, or we get super lucky and get Andre Guadala. So there's a gold player. It's not Andre. Uh, what chance do we have? 5% chance at Andre. Let's do that one final time. It would be insane if we got that Andre Iguodala card. Be very low likelihood. And we get another gold player. We are going to rip through the flashback boost pack a bunch of times as well. Uh, in fact, how many tokens do we get? If we get 10 tokens, which I think we do, it might actually be worth ripping through this. So nine more times. Sorry about that. I usually have my phone on do not disturb when I am recording, but I did get a phone call mid video. So there has been a little bit of an edit there as I had to make a cut to remove that. I'm sure you're not interested in that. You want to see what's in these packs, whether I can clutch out an elite. Uh, let's try it again. We, I do actually need to have a look at the percentage likelihood, so I won't just hit open again for the next pack. I will go back out and have a look at what the odds are of me pulling an elite. We are looking at a 6.8% chance of an 80 plus overall. I'm not sure if you can pull Iggy in this specific pack, but I think it's just general elites. So obviously elites are nicer than gold players, that is for sure. And we get two more golds in that one. Uh, I think we're up to four or five packs. Doesn't matter if I buy too many. So let's go another one, reveal all, another couple of gold players. We'll do four more and I think that should be enough to go back and complete the Iggy set, which is gonna, oh, I can't wait to have him on my lineup. Another two gold players there, three more. And I clutch out an elite before we wrap this up. 
Reveal all. Plenty of elite tokens, no elite players just yet, although I did see a Manu Ginobili in that pack. It's another throwback or another flashback card, so to speak. Another couple of golds. One more, and I think that'll do it in terms of the number of tokens to finish that Iggy set. I'll do this one one at a time, see if that changes our luck at all. Coming from this side, there's a gold, there's a gold. So we do get a rookie's gold, but no elites. Now let's jump back into sets, back into daily beats. Do we have enough to complete that Iggy? Oh, we're one pack short. Uh, I'll use the top uh, link top right there to jump straight back into the store. Scroll across. This is the last pack. This is our last chance at an elite outside of the Iggy, which we're about to complete. We get ourselves two more gold players. No worries. So let's go back to sets. Daily beats. Let's complete this Iggy. Give you another quick look at his stats because his stats are very solid. He's not necessarily an amazing three-point shot, but everything else is really solid at, especially defense. And I think that the card looks fantastic as well. The, the jersey that he's wearing and the colors on the card looks really, really nice. So let's go to my team. Let's hit update. Best lineup. That moves him onto the bench there. And if we go to the defensive lineup, should move him onto the bench. Oh, we actually, hang on. Oh, we've got a whole bunch of players that are not meant to be in their specific, no specific lineups. But anyway, there is that defensive lineup with Andre Iguodala in the starting five. That card looks so good. So that is an overview of the next flashbacks player who will be dropping very, very soon. What you can pull in those store packs and a quick look at that Blitz event. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content.